Good morning world from Camigan Island, southern Philippines, on a nearly clean beach. There's a little bit out there. I'm on the second canal here. Oh, the girls are here. I got my selfie stick now. I can talk a little bit. The girls are here. We're still waiting for Bobby. Bobby's never tried the drop net before, so I brought it down to give it a try. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that one on his own or not, so we'll figure it out here. The two of us can handle it. The whole thing was trying to get it so he can take care of everything and I don't have to be down here. I can be concentrating on building some more kabooms. Good morning, ladies. Ready for some more fun? All we need is the King Kaboom Servicer, Bobby, to show up. I'm sure he's on his way. We're going to try my drop net again. This will scoop out all of this trash in about two to three scoops. Probably three maybe four scoops we'll have that all out of there as soon as we can get Bobby down here we'll go down and see where he is here on April 5th it's a Tuesday waiting for Bobby but he didn't show so we're gonna try tossing this net with just just May and see if a girl can do it you're down on the other end get down on the other end down there pick it up like this just like this spread it out a little bit no spread, spread it out as far as you can spread it out pull it Make it big like mine. There you go. Just grab a little farther apart. There you go. Now we're going to toss this on three and try and keep the front to ass and the back down here. So we're going to do it on three. So it's going to go one, two, three. No. And here's our camera girl, Jessie Mae. And he, dear he, you can film us. We're going to try and drop this net here. Why don't you go down just on the other side of Bobby and shoot back this way here. Down there on the other side. Okay, Bobby, this is how it works. I'll grab it about here. And about here. Go ahead, grab your end. Spread it out as far as you can. Spread it a little bit farther. There you go. Spread your arms farther apart. Get it like this. There you go. Okay. And so what we do is a one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, we didn't get it. Then we got to get the shovel out and scoop it up in the sacks and get it out on the road. Hi, what a mess. I don't like this soup here. I hate walking in that because then my feet get basa. They get wet and stinky. You guys are probably better off with no shoes and socks at all. Just go Lego in it. Well, we got it all cleaned out of there, or Bobby did anyway. We're getting quite a bit of growth in the top of this one, but this helped protect the bottles, I guess. Mainly because the kids haven't been walking on it lately, I think. I think that's the last scoop. So we're going to get a couple bags of bottles out of this. Several sacks of trash. We could weigh it all. I was just guessing those bags over there were anywhere from 10 to 15 kilos apiece. Sometimes 20. Depending on how many diapers are in them. The bottle ones are usually always the same. Right around 5 kilos. Give or take. And I'm going to help in with the girls here a little bit. We'll be back. Here's the girls our second day in a row earning their new pay raise <laughs> and I'm just gonna stand back and watch them believe me I've been down here if you follow my videos back clear back into July I was cleaning this thing out for six months by myself once in a while I'd get a little help and then I did have a good helper for a little while for a month and then Bobby came along he's pretty much taken over the show and along with the girls I think they got the program going I still have to come down and get them the ball rolling get them started in the right direction but I think they're plenty capable I know you're thinking why didn't you hire men to do this well they started out as recycle cage attendants because they have good Visaya and their neighbor girls and they know everybody and everybody loves them so I don't know I think Bobby's done thinking we're gonna take care of it <laughs> he's off to go down to lady probably for another scoop so well it looks like it's all up to you girls 
Bobby left us. He's had enough. Me too. So when you get done, just go ahead and go back to the cage. I think you know what you got going now. Isn't this fun? Are you having fun? No, you're not going to say you're having fun. <laughs> oh, we love this. <laughs> I don't think they're having fun. Here we are at 3J's. It's a little dark in here. This doesn't do too good on low light. Bobby's just having coffee. The girls and I are hungry. That's two days hard work. So you deserve a bonus. And we're having some menudo with rice and some goulash and vegetables and some coffee. I guess Bobby ate earlier because he's not gikotom. Why like gikotom? No? Okay. Anyway, we're going to get back to eating here. We're at the cook kaboom on April 6th. We just cleaned this one out yesterday. This was just a little overnight goodies. Looks like a nice thermos in there, maybe. Lots of bottles. We still haven't finished cleaning up our mess from yesterday, and it just keeps coming. So, but it's a rainy day today. I gave the girls day off. I'm not going to have many at the cage. As you can see, the angle of the wall makes a big difference. It keeps it against the wall better. When it gets more vertical is when I have problems keeping the tires down in the water. Well, we'll go down and check the lady, and then the king, and then angels. We'll be back. And he's got to move all that out to the road. That's some heavy sacks of trash. Well, it's nice low tide. He's not even up to his knees here at the Crestica boom. I think it's like, what, April 8th or something today. It's a Friday. We still got some pretty good flow coming down. There's a cellophane bag coming to talk to Krusty, but got to get a little bit more weight on this end. Low tide and a lot of debris pushes underneath. All right, the beaches are looking good. Well, girls, we got to find Bobby's rake. Hopefully, he brought his rake. Socks. Sacks are in the back of the car. I'll get them here. I don't know if Bobby buys rake down or not. I didn't bring one. It might be a little bit harder now. Here comes the girls down the trail, and it's time to get down and dirty. See if I can't get this up from Bobby. Here, Bobby, just hand it up to me if you can. Oh, kind of to ass here, isn't it? <laughs> Not gonna work. Here, let me get the girls some tools. And it is low tide. it on down and I'm thinking of almost anchoring that down on the side maybe cut back the PVC down to where the collar is and just nail that thing into the side of it hold it a little closer Someone was asking if they've been degraded at all. Well, maybe the vegetation has, but this one here survived a typhoon, broke the safety link twice, and it's sitting just as high and pretty as it was last August, I think. Was when this one went in? Yeah, end of last August, I think. Maybe September, I can't remember anymore. I've been doing this so long. But this one here's got the flip-flop skirt. We've got the skirt on the back side on one place, and the front side the other place, to try and keep it from twisting. Because she did get twisted one time. One time only in all these months. It's a good time to clean this one out. Not even knee deep.
You know, it's the only problem with that mesh skirt, the sticks and twigs stick in it. I'm trying something new on the airport one, so we'll see. Well, we'll go down and get that sack up here. We might have to get dirty. I hadn't planned on it today, but I guess I will. Give the girls something to sort. I'll be back. Go down and check the beach. Excuse me, sir. Don't fall. Let's see how this beach is looking. There's been a couple things there. Those could have got by that end where the tires raised up. We've got a little bit of trash here. Maybe we'll get the girls down here like last time. That's what we did last time. There's not even a quarter sack of trash down here, not compared to like what it was. We still got pretty good flow going through here. So, so anyhow, I'm going to pants on my white little feet here. You know, I just had an idea. I remember seeing the other ones. They have a tie line that secures the middle. I'm going to have to get down in here and see if bringing Krusty over a little. Here we go. In the canal I go. It's the only way to find out here. Oh, it's rather squishy on the bottom. I don't think there's any glass or anything, hopefully. A little Bobby's got... Coming through, Bobby. I think the skirt's losing some of its coral. Nope, coral's still there. Looking good all the way across. Just like when Josh and Jerry and I built this thing. One thing I need to find out. We've got to close that gap over here. We've got to close that gap. Oh, that was a sharp stick. And I'm thinking of closing it and grabbing this thing right about in the middle and putting the tie line over and see what happens. What will it take to get that to lay flatter? Right about like so. I keep thinking I'm losing my shoes, but I don't have no shoes on. Right about there. Is it closing the gap any? Bobby, pull the pull the kaboom up against the wall a little more. See if it's gonna be sucked up over against the wall. There you go. Let it see if it goes back in. We need to close that gap. Push the boom up against the wall. Hey, don't lose your load. Yeah, like that, okay. That's good, let me play with it a bit now, see where the best point is here. I think I'm just gonna take a nylon line and give it a little release there, because it just stretches. Look at all those frogs. We got like a whole family of frogs. He says, let me out of here. Crazy, there must be 10, 15 of them in their little garden palace here. That might just work. A nylon line from here to the top of the canal over there. And that way it won't be tugging it away from the wall. That might be the easiest solution. That poor little guy, he's trapped in there. And you can imagine the torrent that comes through here when that comes almost up to the bridge height there. That's going to work, I believe. I'm just laying nice and tight up against there. I'll just have to try it. I don't have any nylon line with me now. Actually, I do. I just don't have an anchor. I wonder if i got a tree that might work. Anyway, I very. This isn't as bad as the other canals. This one's got more flow, so it's not too hugao here. Dirty. And here's a close-up inspection. The net over the top seems to be a better option. The bottles are still looking good. We got a few bottles that are sticking up over there, but they haven't come out. All in all, the coral's still on the skirt. Now that's sucked up against there. It just pushes it too far this way. And if we give it a little strain relief there, it's like having a two-section kaboom. One up to here where the nylon line is, and then the rest up to there. So that's all I needed to find out. 
Let's see if I can get back out of here and go check on the girls without getting in the way of Bobby throwing the crap all over. Let me through, Bobby. Passing through. Yeah, I still haven't got them to get real nitpicky. That didn't help much. But we get the majority of it out. But he's not a fine tuner like my last guy there. He's kind of a bull in the china shop, but he gets the job done. I need one more to help him. One that understands English good. Yeah, my feet are not going to be... Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to put them back in my socks or not now. I'll go around the outside here. But yeah, we're still getting some stuff coming through there. And I know it's that darn edge that I showed you there. And there's the styrofoam that Ocean Cleanup was complaining about. Yeah, it is definitely a problem. We got a couple of these guys too. Hi. Okay. That's about it. Grab this bottle. Looks like we about got that cleaned up. I'm just gonna have to go barefoot until I can get up to the car and. Hopefully not cut open my tender little feet. I'm sure Bobby's are like steel on the bottom for going without all his life. Yeah, I think we'll do a little quickie clean up here with the girls when they're done. They're getting 150 a day and most of the time they're just sitting around at the cage socializing. Boy, there's a lot of dogs down here. And what they make it up in a few days, they'll be sweating their butts off here. Because having them, uh, I don't get up on the wall as chipper as I used to anymore. Okay, go back up and check on the girls. Now I know what I need to do. And we're finishing up. I'm just getting the natural debris out where it should be, feeding the ocean floor. And we're taking the nasty plastics out where they should be to the recycle center and the rest of it to the landfill and oh my we got what one two three four almost five four full two halves not a bad haul girls we'll have to bring you down some sweat bands or some rags to wipe the sweat I, even though it's the basura yeah i've got to scoop it up do you need another sack for basura this, that one there's Basura? Yeah. Yeah, try, try and rake it out, but pick all the bottles out first. Get all the plastics out first. And I don't, I really wouldn't worry about Basura as much on this one. Let's just get the bottles out for now, because we've got to go back down to the Coke Kaboom and finish it up. This one here, nobody sees. People drive by while I paying it. So just get the bottles for now. We'll call it good. I'm going to go get my shoes back on. We'll get loaded up. Bobby's... There. Well, let's see if we can get them in there. Here, you hold the camera for a minute. Explain me. Let's get the heavy ones in first. That one. He'll be back. He can't carry everything at once. Let's go drop this off at the cage. Hopefully not lose any of it. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. We are at the cage. Then load our Nissan pickup truck. We 
them. Don't drag it. Oh well. These cars. We need a full overhaul and paint job. And that's for the landfill side. Not bad. That's just one kaboom for one week, really. A few days. We'll go ahead and get this unloaded, then we're down to help Bobby. Now we're finishing up on the Coke Canal. It's the same day, Friday the 8th. We got rained out last time we were here. But Bobby had this all cleaned out. And we're still tackling, sorting, and bagging. Well, we've got a few hundred kilos of trash out of this one. But this is the original kaboom from back in July. Yeah, it's ugly. But it's sitting up just as high. Skirt's hanging in there. Got a little bit of growth. A couple of bottles discolored. But they're all intact still. And it is functioning as it has since the beginning. Very little gets by. Although some of it does wash up in front here. This one does not have the full skirt, so that's one improvement I'd like to make. But I just wanted to have one where I didn't touch it at all. And this is it, the very first. Bobby's going to go sw legal swimming. This is why I need to do the bottles in the middle. He uses it like a ladder. You can hear him crinkle crunch. Ooh, this one's very squishy though. Look at this. It started to disappear there. See how far he sinks in. I remember stepping into this one. I almost lost my shoes. And here he comes. Yeah, he does sink in a little bit. This one here's a little gooier. And the worst one is the Lady Kaboom. And the King's almost this bad too, but I think we got a little bit of a trash problem here. The one that bothers me is the ones that actually bag up their bottles in a sack and then toss it in the canal. Crazy, huh? Well, we just do what we can. Looking good. Maybe we need to get another sack for the cans, maybe, huh? I'll get another sack. That, that one will work for the cans, yeah. Has it got a liner in it? It does. Put a liner out. Yeah. Got us. Just went and bought another 100 pesos of sacks. We go through anywhere from 100 to 500 if I'm helping out on the beach cleanings. In fact, I spent 1500 on sacks the weekend of our Echo Warrior beach cleanup. Had a lot of those left over, but we all went to PNP. That's quite a build up there. You can see the pressure that it must have been under to push those bottles up like that. So we had some pretty good water flow last night from the rainstorms we've been getting here lately. And this is supposed to be our hot and dry month, but it hasn't gotten here yet. Poor Bobby, he seems like he's almost getting stuck when he goes to move his legs around. But anyway, I'm going to go watch the girls. Maybe help a little with the shovel. I'll be back. And we got a little bit of a problem today. We got some Amigas. All these little ants down here. And I think, oh, that might be the ant nest right there. The big hole in the ground. And they are eating us alive this morning. They're all over my shoes. The girls don't have any shoes. They just get bit wrecked, but they're tough. Anyhow, we got to get all this out to the road now. And some of this is pretty darn heavy. I used to do weigh-ins, but really, it's very boring. What a waste of time to weigh it, just so people know you. How much did you collect? Well, each one of these, this one here, I would say is probably, since I lift weights, that's at least 30 pounds, 15 kilos at least, maybe. 18 kilos times what one two three four five six seven eight ten so 200 kilos worth somewhere in there probably plus the bottles and that that's your official weigh-in sorry 
we don't have time to document every little piece of trash where it comes from and what it weighs we're just taking care of business and i wish we had another dozen or two islands doing the same as this we might have a chance but there's not too many bobbies around and there's only one of me here but i'm going to clone myself and go to the hole and let these people take over for me here i just got to get them a supervisor clone myself or something I'd sit down, but what do you mean? Ah. Woo. There we go. Woo. <laughs> Who needs a winch when we got manpower, woman power? Just bring it over and dump it. Do what we got. Go ahead and watch this here. This. Down here. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dump this sack too. Put it farther up so we don't get it back inside. There we go. Grade A trash from the Black Lagoon. This is just black today. It's pretty low tide. It's pretty, ew, pretty dirty pickings here. Yeah, it's a dirty job, but you don't have to do it, but it definitely is making a small impact. And hopefully others will be watching this video and say, well, we can do that too, right here on Behol, or right here on Mindanao, or right here in Cebu, Negros. So many other islands could be doing the same exact thing. And they will one day, with a little help with a lot of help. I appreciate what we got now, but it's barely enough to keep this alive. Good job, Bobby! The Lego champion. Canal Lego champion. Bobby's dragging one more big one, two more big ones to drag out. We didn't get it spick and span super clean, but it's good enough. We're going to be back here possibly tomorrow. If it keeps raining like this, pulling out another batch. So. I don't know how many kilos we got. I wish there's an easier way to measure it. But if I guess if I had a few million euros, I could hire people to weigh all this. But that may not happen anytime soon. Well, there's our catch. There's our recyclables we'll take down to the cage. This is just too much to put in the car. I don't want to trash my car anymore. I have to. I still need it. It's already scratching the paint up. Good job! Good job, Bobby. Salamat. That goes over for him. He's got a sack. Oh, he had a sack that he put that in. Just a minute. I grabbed his sack. Here. That's for his rake and shovel. It's put it inside. We got one more sack, Greg. Yeah, probably be back here tomorrow doing the same. That's pretty much our routine for the morning. I don't know what time it is, but it's probably getting close to 8. The girls are about done. So just how many sacks did we get there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sacks of trash. Okay, down to the cage we go. You can get in the car if you want. Away we go. Oh, Bobby will get that. Bobby! Ok, 
Okay, that's it. We're off in our garbage mobile. 92 Nissan Sentra garbage truck. Car, huh? And me. Well, that's about it. It's not looking too good. This is from the Coke. Well, we got twice that much the other day. I think the girls are about done. I am too. I think it's about breakfast time. I'll go down. I think Bobby's heading on down. He's got all his tools. I'll go down and check on him in a minute. I got to pay the girls here. I don't know if I'll be back this afternoon. Got to get another pin in this one here. The pin broke off. The weld broke. So see if I can fix that. I'll be back. In our garbage truck. Well, it's the same day, Friday. This is what we're up against. We can't keep up with this. We just scooped this out the other day. We hauled off a bunch of bags of it. And overnight, it's back to full again. We need one more helper. I'm not what I used to be in my younger days. I still get quite a bit of work done, but I think this little Bobby can outwork me. Man, this is a nasty black. Look at this. This is an algae blooms from all the sewage from town that comes down here. And algae gets a hold of it along with the Carandaria stuff. I think Bobby's going to be done. That's why he only gets about two hours work done in the morning. This is some heavy, nasty stuff. So now you see why he goes through a pair of gloves a week almost on this. So Bobby, Ugma Sabun Tag will bring the girls down. We'll clean this up. And the uh, Coke Canal, too. We'll get it segregated tomorrow. But after this, you did good. Good job. Dog Han Bote is again. And the diaper. Oh, those nasty diapers. See, this beauty has a fully weighted skirt. So that diaper could have been down, bounced off, and came back already. That's what I need to install on the Coke Canal. So my work's not done yet. Still got a few upgrades to do to the earlier Kaboom. But Krusty's fully upgraded, the King's upgraded, and soon-to-be Airport Kaboom's going to have a new type of skirt I'm going to try for higher flow rivers. As the fine mesh like that would have too much drag and it would really make a mess when we get a bunch of debris going through. Anyhow, this is what comes out of the town of Mambahau. The residents are not educated, and nobody is educating them, except May and Jessa May down at the recycle cage. Anyhow, we'll be back. I'm a dirty boy. I'm going to go have my breakfast. But that's what happens when you play in garbage all day. I was joking with the girls. These are my newer shoes. My other ones fell apart. Even if I clean them up, they still stink a little. So you go to eat somewhere and everybody's... What's that smell? Oh, that's Richard. He's that tropical basura boy. And it doesn't make it easy getting dates when you smell like garbage. I'll have to get some more new shoes. But they don't have decent shoes here. I send mine over from the USA, but I haven't been home for two years. Over two years. It's going to be coming up on three. Bobby's hard at it. we got quite a pile to sort through, and this is the nasty stuff. What the heck is that? That looks like intestines or something. I remember the ocean cleanup saying, Oh, look at what we scooped out, the strangest things. Well, yeah, we get rats and intestines and diapers and we see it before it goes out to the garbage patch and a lot of this would sink before it gets to the garbage patch I don't think they're gonna find intestines out at the garbage patch so usually they eat those here so I'll be back canals looking great nice and clean on the other side it's clean and green today for sure that canal is really green this morning must be all the algae in it because it's definitely blooming We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to help us out, there's a section in the description. Hey, Bobby, I'm out of here. Good job. I'll see you in the morning. Ugma Sabuntag.